Strats. Our next guest has three names to hide out in. Fun Strats Rob Slimer is over at the Plasma with a safety triple play. Rob? Great. Thanks, Scott. So let's put it all into context. We think the market cycle is still very much intact. There's more upside in the market through 2020. The issue is tactically, a lot of these weekly indicators that track one to two quarter shifts are overbought and starting to peak. So people are concerned. A lot of stocks run a long way. And it's understandable people are looking for other areas to be looking to put capital to. So we've got three ideas to take a look at. One of the things we did is we, we screened through a long list of stocks that technically, and we took them over to one of the new hires at Fundstrat, Brian Rauscher, and he does this earnings revision model. So stocks where the earnings revisions are starting to get less bad and starting to improve. And so we combine those names and here are three of the stocks. So let's take a look at general dynamics. Stocks had a big bear market right down to the 200 week. It's gone sideways and starting to base around the 200 week and we're starting to get this little hook starting to develop in here. So it's a defensive name in the defense sector. It's not extended. It doesn't look like the stock market. And the relative strength, you've got to squint, but it's starting to turn here. So if the market comes in, we start to get a bit of a pullback. We think this is a timely name to own right here. Next name, we talked about the stock uh, back on January 16th when we were on the show, and we still like it. It's the same sort of profile as General Dynamics, right? We have a big bear market through 18 and 19. It bases around that 200-week moving average, which is long-term support, secular support. And again, we're just starting to see the turn take hold, the relative strength starting to improve over the last month. So again, if we see a lot of these high flyers start to pull back in, we think this is a pretty good place to be. They're not crowded trades. They're not expensive, and the earnings backdrop is starting to improve. And the last one, this is what one of my colleagues calls a green tomato, is Molson Coors. Mm. So that's a pretty nasty bear market over the last three or four years. It's down about 50, 50, 60 percent, and now it's starting to bottom. So it's early, but again, it's not a crowded trade. This is not a name that looks like there's a lot of momentum to come out of the stock. In fact, earnings data is starting to get a little bit better. The technical pattern is starting to get, get better. And it's just starting to run up that 200 week or 200 day, 40 week moving average. We think this is a great place to be putting capital, especially if you've got a six month investment horizon. All right, we appreciate it, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think of these names? I think General Dynamics looks like the best chart. Look, it's above the 200 day. The 200 days upward sloping. It's shown support there multiple times. But I want to talk a little bit about the earnings revision comment. I think that's really important. And back to the overall economy and what's been going on. I did bring a couple of charts along. I don't know if they can throw them up, but. To the point about liquidity and lower interest rates, that leads better manufacturing data. The correlation is extremely high. You saw a better PMI print out of the U.S. So if you believe that manufacturing is going to recover, that also has a really high correlation with earnings revisions. Earnings revisions get more and more positive as manufacturing hooks higher. So if you believe in that story, which I still do, I think the over the next couple of months, you could have the, the waters muddied a little bit because of what's going on with coronavirus. But to the point of positive earnings revisions potentially being a catalyst to support the market where it is now, I think that that's a very real possibility. You gave me a nice segue because speaking of Corona, I, I think Constellation is, is a great company. I think they've certainly their beer business at a time when beer sales are actually shrinking for most of the other players. Uh, they're seeing pretty solid high single digit growth. They've made a couple acquisitions. They've divested a couple acquisitions. This is one of the great consumer product companies in the world, I think. And I think at this Valuation, it's interesting. And quickly, General Dynamics discount to Lockheed Martin trades around 13 and a half times next year's earnings, significantly off the all time high. I think, out of the, if you're playing Would You Rather, Would You Rather, it's you General. I am again. Yeah. Twice on one show. That so you can do we it a few times. 10 minutes. So, well, not every 10 minutes, but it's one of those shows where you can actually do it. And I would rather General Dynamics. General Dynamics! <laughs> All right. So